Recently, I was browsing through YouTube and came across to a channel that just make unpopular opinion with text-to-speech, which sound way much cooler than my voice. But it has 20k subscriber and every video is around 50k views. I never made an unpopular opinion video. Why I don't make unpopular opinion video that can be another great topic for another video but it creates toxic environment and I don't have any unpopular opinion. I can say Choyuri is cute. Yeah, damn hell she is. See? But definitely I can take a help from our AI friend ChatGPT. So without wasting more time, let's see what ChatGPT got. Hey K-pop enthusiasts, welcome back to Chayo GPT. Today, we're about to embark on a journey through the diverse landscape of unpopular opinions within the K-pop community. Buckle up, because this is going to be a roller coaster of thoughts and perspectives. Before we dive into the deep end, a friendly reminder, opinions are like a variety pack of snacks. Everyone has their favorites. So let's respect each other's tastes and keep the conversation friendly. Now, let's stir the pot a bit. Opinion one, visuals versus talent. Our first stop is the age-old debate of visuals versus talent. While K-pop is renowned for its visually stunning idols, some argue that talent should be the main focus. I believe visuals are not just eye candy, but an essential part of the K-pop experience. They add a layer of charisma and aesthetic appeal that contributes to the overall package. What are your thoughts on this ongoing tug of war? Opinion 2. Overplayed songs. We've all been there. Those songs that seem to follow you like a loyal shadow. Overplayed songs aren't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, they become the soundtrack of our K-pop journey, creating a shared experience among fans. Sometimes the familiarity is comforting, like meeting an old friend. What's your take on the perpetual replay of certain tracks? Opinion 3. Fan Wars Now, let's wade into the sea of fan wars. Fan wars are, without a doubt, counterproductive. We're all part of the K-pop family, and bickering over preferences doesn't contribute positively to the community. Instead, let's focus on what unites us, the love for the music and the artists. How do you navigate the sometimes choppy waters of fan wars? Opinion 4. Concept Fatigue K-pop groups are known for their ever-evolving concepts, but some worry about concept fatigue. I believe experimenting with diverse concepts keeps the industry dynamic and showcases the versatility of our favorite groups. It's like a buffet of musical and visual experiences. What's your stance on the constant evolution of K-pop concepts? Opinion 5. English Releases English releases have become more prevalent, sparking debates about authenticity and reach. English releases serve as a bridge, connecting K-pop with a global audience. Breaking language barriers opens doors for more people to appreciate the artistry and cultural richness embedded in K-pop. How do you feel about this shift towards English language tracks? Opinion 6. Solo versus Group Activities as groups mature, members often explore solo ventures, sparking concerns about group unity. Solo activities don't necessarily signal the end of a group. They provide a platform for individual talents to shine, contributing to the overall success and recognition of the group as a whole. How do you balance your enthusiasm for solo and group activities within your favorite K-pop acts? Opinion 7. Fan Cams Fan cams have become a K-pop subculture, offering fans an up-close and personal view of their biases. Fan cams aren't just fan obsessions, they're an excellent way to appreciate the nuances of individual performances. These videos capture the magic, the charisma, and the raw talent that make our biases unforgettable. Do you find yourself falling down the fan cam rabbit hole from time to time? And there you have it, a deep dive into some K-pop unpopular opinions. Remember, diversity in perspectives is what keeps our fandom vibrant. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these opinions and any unpopular thoughts you've been harboring. Drop them in the comments below and let's keep the conversation rolling. Wow, not gonna lie, those were some good points. Also, some of them went above my head. However, anyone can take those points and make a proper video with some more explanation. After seeing that, I have a doubt about those K-tubers. Who knows, maybe they also generate their script from ChatGPT. But no hate to them, they are doing way much better than me either way. However, don't forget to click that glowing subscribe button if you don't want to miss any other future fun content. And I'm leaving you guys with this video to watch next and as always, 